Hey guys, it's AG here and welcome to episode 2 of Better Building in Terraria. As you can see, it's raining. Um, what I did off camera real quick was just shoot down um, and explore a little bit, grab a tiny little bit of resources for our next part of the build. And this is, when you get your basic housing set up, um, you'll generally be in that position anyway. So you'll be primed to just, you know, get this kind of house built. So what I'm going to do is very quickly just clear out this area and we're going to build a just, a just a basic kind of house. So we have our merchant, our nurse just moved in because we picked up a life crystal so that's all great. It's hooping it down with rain and I think that the wooden, um, the wooden shacks that we've got at the moment, yeah we could do a little bit something with that. So um, I was lucky enough to find a granite biome but I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. Um, I died horribly to the um there's a mushroom biome with a spider cabin on top so that went down well but it did give me a chance to grab some cobwebs um and cobwebs are great for adding decorative flair making a bed for example that's that's really cool so i'm just going to flatten this out and you don't have to do this um but it depends on how big you want to build so i'm gonna do a couple of things real quick uh, now that this is nice and flat, great. Um, the first thing I'm going to make is a furnace. Because we're going to be wanting to do some stuff with uh, some stone bricks. So uh, let's cook up this lead. And also let's make a chain. Of course, I need an anvil for chain. So there's that and that, and there's some chain. And I'm going to make another sawmill. Uh, not another sawmill. I'm going to make a workbench, and then I'm going to make a sawmill. If I can make a sawmill, I can't make a sawmill. Alright, guys, I'm back. Turns out I was short a couple of pieces of lead, so I went for a quick explore and got some. So. Let's very quickly sawmill. Go down sawmill. Please. Stupid terrain. Stupid torch. Stupid worm. Right, sawmill. Lovely. So this is what we need to get started with some prettification. Um, so what I'm going to do is very quickly just organise my inventory. So that... And the words and such and such. Cool. So, if Norcast will just get out of the way. Okay. One thing I wanted to talk about is how um, blocks blend. And you can see what I mean here. When the stone brick goes down, it creates like a nice kind of like merged edge, which is really nice. So, we can use this like for a foundation. And when I'm building houses, um, I kind of like to think a little bit uh, like a builder, so we get a nice solid foundation here. Um, what we could even do is knock ourselves up a hammer real quick. Um, I'm not going to do that with the lead because I might need it, so we'll do it with the words. Um, and you can just either put the short step in or a slope. Um, and depending on the style of house you want to build, um, there are also some bricks that blend other than, say, dirt and stone. For example, I'm just chipping these out right now. And what I'm going to do is, in the furnace, just make some normal stone bricks. So, stone bricks. And we'll probably be using these um, when I'll build a bit later. And the stone bricks merge with stone. Um, and they also merge with dirt. So you can create a really cool kind of a rustic-y, little bit ruiny style um, like that. And not only do they merge with stone and dirt, but they also merge with the wood. So we now have a solid foundation of which to build our house. Um, and when it comes to planning out houses, um, again, try and think a little bit like a builder, um, as if you were building a, a proper, yes, can I help you? Can I help you, Holly? No? Okay. So I kind of plan out the rooms. So we know that rooms can be 
split with platforms to allow easy access. So if you go one, two, three like that, and then with our normal wood, go one, actually, let's not do it with wood. Let's do that particular bit with stone brick. You are really in the way, Missy. And then we can lay out what we want like this and we can put a door there and then with our bricks again one two and three uh, I'm just wondering if they're actually going to be big enough I think I've made them big enough they might be one brick too small do 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 correction on the fly guys I think that's going to be better. And then, dink, dink, dink. Ooh, Llewellyn the Travelling Merchant has arrived. We go see if he's got anything cool stuff for us. So, there's that and that. Again, platforming up. So we know that there, that's a thing. And then, uh, let's go over here. And I'm pretty sure that... Oh. I'm pretty sure that they're the right size now. Boom. Let's get a couple more stone bricks. <clears throat> okay. Sure. What we're going to do is we're going to mix wood walls and stone walls. So we just want normal stone walls. And then we want brick walls. And we're just using... Oops, I'm probably going to need some more grey brick. We're just going to be um, using stone and wood. And then we'll be tying it up with all the stuff that you can see at the sawmill. So, that one more grey brick walls. Nice. Hopefully combined, that's enough. So let's make some glass as well. And then some glass walls. So you can get all of this at the start. There's no tricks involved. So first of all, what we're going to do is go one, two, three. Uh, four, I think. Yeah, four. And then one, two, three, four. And let's start whacking down stuff that we're going to need. So a crafting table. A crafting table paves away for platforms. Ding, ding, ding. Don't forget, platforms count. Uh, okay, so then... Go. And then with the hammer, you can turn the platforms into stairs. Get the top one. And this is where, like, compact. Make room for your head. <laughs> so you can go up and down. That's cool. Glass bricks. Oh, I am missing one brick. Oh, yellow stained glass. Think like that. And now what we're gonna do is every now and then again just chip out a couple of like the stone or the bricks and replace them with I'll just go back over here real quick. I'll turn this back into stone. I can't okay. Oh I can look. Derp, I wasn't paying attention. So you can turn it back into stone, pluck it down and kind of add again like if you feel like it like a rustic kind of feel tap 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 not enough bricks yay me and then with the walls do one and two that was close and just grabbing these and using control Run around. You don't need to be too precise. And then with whoops, bunny please. Grab some more stone real quick. Pickaxe, where be you? 
Oh, hey, slot one, why not? There appears to be a cave directly underneath my spawn as well. So that's cool. Right, so this little bit of brick should help us quite nicely. Ta-da! Clean that up in a minute. Do, 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 do. So there's that and that. So we know we have four slot, four houses, uh, NPC houses. We can use doors. We can use platforms. Um, so let's tighten this up now. Depending on your playthrough, you might have already got some man, man, fallen stars already. If you have a bowl and you don't want to just use a torch, use a star in a bowl. Dink. Looks pretty, has some particle effects, gives off a nice light. You're going to get mana stars all the time, so it's not going to be too much of a thing. Um, and the last thing I want to do whilst I get these kitted out is just if, if you have excess lead, then go ahead and make some cool things like a keg for example now a keg has another use because you can make ale with it just make sure you can fit your light source and your comfort item toilets count as a comfort item so you could just put a toilet straight in there without having to put a seat if you wanted to um so let's go with like a dresser that counts as a flat surface for a room so we could put a dresser up here uh, and then we can put, for example, like we've got some topaz. I haven't got enough for a hook, but maybe a yellow torch in one of the rooms. Bit of colour. That needs a crafting table. I should probably just move this one because, you know, crafting tables. And then all I have to do is get a chair in there. Chair. Do a quick check, see what's wrong with it. It's suitable, perfect. This just needs a light source and a chair. So a chair, what kind of light sources do we have available? Because we picked up some mushrooms, we could go with uh, a lamp, mushroom lamp, which gives us a blue glow. We've got tiki torches. Don't always have to use. Ta-da, it's kind of cool. That should be suitable. Housing is suitable, perfect. Upstairs just needs uh, a chair or a bed if you wanted to, if you had a loom already. So make a loom. Turn the cobwebs you've got into silk. Might as well. And then... Do, 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 do. Can't see the icon for trying. There's a bed. Right, so remember that the solid block has to be... Oops, bunny, please. The solid block has to be accessible. So let's just take... Bunny, you're in the way. Let's get a piece of wood. So that solid block is where an NPC can spawn. There's the flat surface, which is the dresser, and the comfort item, which is the bed. Housing is suitable. Perfect. Sorry, you can't see that's behind my webcam, but housing is suitable. Uh, and then for the last room, I don't know, we could probably make a toilet. Let's do it. Use some of our lead. Luanan has departed. There's the Kazi. Do, do, do. I don't know if you would want to put a sofa in your in your toilet, but maybe you do. Um, so let's go with I don't know a bar. Let's put a bar, it's like a flat surface. I'm gonna put it here so there's that space. Oh my god, it's a dancing squirrel! Right, guys, you gotta get out. See you later. So there's that flat surface for the NPC to spawn on. We need to do is get a light source for this. I am going to use a torch just to prove a point. 
housing is suitable. Perfect. Now, to finish off this house, the one thing I did buy from the travelling merchant is... He says clicking around my... Oh, I didn't buy it yet. Okay, fine. Um, head on over to that merchant. And Mr. Merchant. Shop. Grab yourself a sickle. And all of this grass... When you chop it with a sickle, you get hay. And hay is a pretty cool... Pretty cool looking building material. So let's get hay. Sorry, bunny. Probably a bit dark for you guys. You can't see it, but I am grabbing hay. I have 129 blocks of hay. Squeeze it, please. Yoink. I should go uh, grab these doors real quick. Ding, ding, ding. And don't we major squirrel party going on in there and ding 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 get them boys the good thing about your houses being open is that the npcs can attack from a distance so yeah see rex dancing squirrel needs to go but any users i'm going to take some of this hay and turn it into where is the icon hello was it done at a table there it is hay walls and this is a great way of like putting a roof on your house if you didn't know what to do. So, like a layer of hay down like this. Yachty da. And then with the hay wall, go up. Hopefully, you guys can see this in the, the dark. And there you have it, really. I mean, you could put torches either side. Job, jobbed. So, let's get rid of you. So, in this house, we can go, oh, hey, guys. Have a guide. Have a merchant. Have a demolitionist. And have a nurse. In fact, you probably would want to just switch these two around and put the nurse up here. And the guide down here. Set your spawn point, and there you have it. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating, comment on it, let me know what I'm doing right, let me know what I'm doing wrong, um, share it around if you will, and I'll see you guys next time.